everyone, Spencer Jones here with Jones and Four, bringing you another live cooking show here in the Jones kitchen, making the magic happen, right? And today we have this awesome, amazing, super del delicious recipe for all of you wonderful folks. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all of you. So thank you so much for taking the time uh, for tuning in, having fun, and learning this great recipe. Now, today's recipe is a hearty one. It's one that's gonna make your heart warm, your family happy and begging for more. And the best part, it's quick, it's simple. This recipe and all should take you, ooh, I don't know, mm, 25 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe with some prep time, 30, right? But realistically, it's going to be under a half an hour for you to make this recipe. And what is it? A shepherd's pie. Now. We're mixing up, we're making this a healthy shepherd's pie, and the best part with this recipe, totally customizable to you. So like, maybe your family likes these kind of vegetables and not these, or you want this protein, maybe you don't want meat, you wanna keep it vegetarian, awesome, right? Totally flexible, I'll talk through it a little bit of the options that you have uh, as we're cooking it up. But first things first, we got a couple things, let me walk you through what we're making it with today, so you can use that as a base for when you make it. Again, options. So you need a large pan over here, and we're going to start our oven. Now, we're not actually going to start it on a, um, a temperature like 400 degrees like we normally do. Instead, we are going to broil it on high. We're going to start the broiler just so it really warms up uh, our oven really well. Our dog just came in. Hi, dogs. There they are. So cute. Oh, we even got Katie in there for a little bit. Isn't that fun? All right. So here's what you need if you're making the recipe the way I'm making it. We have olive oil right we got woo get it on camera spencer there we go olive oil boom we have chicken right now i cubed up two um thin chicken breast um right there so we have two uh cubed up thin chicken breast we have one head of broccoli all chopped up all nice we have one squash i quartered it the long way and then chopped it up we have about a cup or so of baby carrots chopped up in half you could use a full carrot and chop it up whatever you like we got about a mm, quarter cup of cheese here. We got some garlic and I for oh I got some seasoning over there too. Seasoning. Now I, this is roasted garlic and herb seasoning from Weber. You could use just salt and pepper. If you have a favorite se seasoning, go for it. Maybe you'll want that instead, right? That's totally cool and doable. Feel free to go for that. Now, there's one other ingredient you're gonna need for shepherd's pie, and that's to make the topping. And let me grab it here from our cupboards. I was just that smart and forgot to take it off before the show. But that's all right, folks. We'll get you set. And that is potatoes. So you're going to need, depending on size, about two to three potatoes. Now we have these large ones here. Now you want these to be these things that I can't talk. You want these suckers pre-cooked, right? So we got three different sizes: red potatoes. You could use any potatoes. You could use... You know, um, oh my gosh, a sweet potato. You could use squash if you want, like acorn squash, butternut squash, that's awesome. You wanna pre-cook these things so you can boil it, you can stick it in the oven, cook them up for a while, or like what we're gonna do because I'm a slacker and I forgot. You're just gonna heat them up in the microwave and cook them fast. But that's all right, we'll do this fast here. So I'll turn the camera so you can join me a little bit. Whoa, that's kind of weird angle. Just rinse them off quick. Make sure that's all clean, that's a big one. Woo wee. Oh, mommy right there, that's a good one. That's right, this all works out. So, if you're doing, ever doing this, you wanna poke holes in whatever you're cooking in the microwave or oven, ouch, I stabbed myself, um, because you don't want it to go explode on you. What happens, you heat up the inside of it, and then the skin holds it in, and then it bursts all over, and that's no good. You don't want your, uh, your potato bursting on you, folks. No good, mm -mm, no good. All right, so we're gonna stick that in the microwave um, real quick so we can get that all cooked up for you, right? So we're gonna stick it there for three minutes or so. I'm gonna flip it three minutes again. We're gonna kind of keep watching that. So I apologize for the background noise and my slackiness of not getting it set beforehand. I'm sorry. Okay, as that's cooking, doing the stuff that I forgot to do, it's all good. We're going to heat up our pan. So I have the hand pan, hand, the hand pan. Wham! On medium high heat. We're gonna put some oil in. We can put about a tablespoon of oil in our pan. Oven's all getting 
preheated with our broiler on high as we're set. Now we're going to let that oil heat up um, so that it's all set to go and then we're going to add in some of our ingredients. Now, if you caught the beginning of the show, you heard me say that this is totally customizable to you and your family. Well, it totally is because you could change it up, right? So as I already said, the topping, like the red potatoes that I forgot about to take out and prep for the show because I'm a slacker. Um, I didn't have enough coffee apparently today. Um, like you could use sweet potatoes for that. You could use squash, right? Same thing with the vegetables inside of it. You can use different ones for that. So maybe you don't like carrots. Maybe you want beans in it, right? Green beans. Or maybe you want peas or um, asparagus. I don't know, like whatever you want, right? You can mix it up and put, make that um, the filling aspect of your shepherd's pie anything you like. Same with protein. We're using chicken, but maybe you want to use um, turkey, right? Or maybe you want to use beef. That's awesome. Use what you like and the seasoning you like. Mix up the seasoning. I'm using garlic and herb. Use Cajun. Make your own. Do, I don't know, whatever, right? Totally up to you. Totally customizable to fit you and your taste. And also, it keeps it interesting, right? Keeps it uh, enjoyable to eat and mix it up a little bit. All right, our oil's hot. We are going to add in our garlic clove. This is one minced up garlic clove. I like mincing it up. That way you don't get huge chunks. Add that, and then add our chicken in. So again, that's two cups, or two small, thinly sliced chicken breasts all cubed up. We're just going to mix it around here. And you're gonna to wanna to stir this occasionally, just so it doesn't burn, so the, the garlic doesn't burn, and all that stuff, and the chicken gets cooked roughly, you know, evenly through. We're going to be stirring that, and then we're we'll going to be going on. Hey, Angie, thanks for tuning in and commenting. Appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. I appreciate all of you. Please like this video if you like this craziness, me misspeaking and messing things up and forgetting potatoes. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Share it out with your friends and your family. This recipe, even with my mistake, is still going to be less than a half an hour. I can almost guarantee it. Actually, you know what? I'm not almost going to guarantee it. I'm going to guarantee it. That's how crazy I am. All right, spend three minutes in the microwave with these potatoes. Woo, hot, hot dog. All right, here we go, another three minutes. Boom, flipped them over, another three, so we can cook them up. So this is what happens when you're living life on the fly, right? If you're busy, you're a busy parent, you're busy um, just with work or everything else, use the microwave, use the things you have, right? I, baking potatoes is great, boiling them is great, just takes a little bit more time. Microwave, I find, works really well, a lot faster than those other options. So we're just, I'm just stirring this to make sure it starts cooking evenly. Nothing too crazy. Then we're gonna start adding some stuff in. I'm actually, I just flipped them up once all the way through. I'm gonna add some seasoning to it now. Just our roasted garlic and herb. And you know, you could buy this stuff. Like, you know, I'm using the Weber ones. These are awesome. They're delicious. I love them because it's a quick, easy way to season a dish. But you can make your own. You can make your own seasoning. You can find recipes online. You can go to J uh, spencermjones.com and check out our Jones and Four recipes. We have a couple of our own marinades and barbecue sauces on there that you can make as well. All options for all of you to try. All right, yay, that's cooking. So we're gonna let that cook until the chicken is just about halfway done, right? So it's about 50% done, then we're gonna add in our other ingredients. Now, usually you're gonna to want to add in the harder vegetables first. So like we would add in the carrots. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna add that in now. They just take a little bit longer to cook, and maybe you wanna add them in right away. But to tell you the truth, I like my carrots. It's a little bit crispy, so I have a crunch to them as I'm eating them. So I don't wanna I don't want them to be soft. I mean, that's what you like and all that. It's all good. Excellent. So again, just waiting until that chicken becomes halfway cooked and we're gonna add in our other ingredients. Uh, we'll season up just a little bit more and we'll cook it so the chicken is through. Then we get to have some fun and make this shepherd's pie all quick and easy. So I would love to hear from you, right? It's now October 1st. 
Hooray, happy October. Hope you survived and enjoyed your September. For me, it flew by, it was crazy fast. One month of school done already. Wow, awesome, we had homecoming, it was a fun time. And uh, I'm curious, now that it's October, fall's here, it's colder, as here in Wisconsin at least it's colder, I would love to hear what um, your favorite thing to do with your family is in fall. What is it? Maybe um, you love going out to like pumpkin patches or I don't know, watching scary movies in October, right? What's your favorite fall activity to do with your family? Let me know. Drop it in the comments below. I would love to find out what you like to do with your family. Um, Pamela, you love Shepherd Spy. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in, Pamela. Um, this is quick, easy, customizable. It's amazing, in my opinion, at least. So our red potatoes just finished another three minutes. Now I'm squeezing the sides of them to see if they're soft. Our little one is soft, it's breaking out. So our little one is done. We're gonna take that out, set it down. The other two need a little bit more time. So we're gonna flip it over, do another. I put it in for three minutes because we can, but we'll see uh, what it takes there. Probably be a little bit, three minutes for that medium, me I can't talk. Medium sized potato. And then a little bit longer for a large one. All right, our chicken is just about 50% cooked, if not a hair over, because I was fun having fun chatting. We're gonna add our, our squash. We're gonna add in our broccoli to our mixture. Add just a little bit more seasoning. Can you season it as you like, right? If you had salt and pepper, just add a little bit of that to taste. I just did a little sprinkle, as you saw, and that works for us. Now you're thinking, since you already added in garlic, well, you might be thinking, you may, you may not be. You already added in like garlic cloves that you meant some. Now you're adding in garlic and herb seasoning? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I am. It's because we love our garlic in this family. It's so good. And it's good for you. So that's fun. Let me bring you over here as our chicken is finishing cooking and our veggies are cooking over here. It's going to be a fresh, it's going to be delicious shepherd's pie. One you like you've never had before that you made at home in under. 30 minutes, crazy. So let me shut off my overhead light here so you can see, so the camera could focus in. Oh yeah, check out that. You're essentially making a chicken and veggie stir fry, right, for your base. That's all you're really doing. And all I have in there is a, that tablespoon or so of oil, and then the seasoning, and that, check out that. Oh yeah, mm, 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 good. Good stuff right there. It's gonna be so delicious, I can't wait. I can't wait, yay. All right, let me grab a knife here real quick because as that's cooking up, and I'm meeting here, get to the light back on so I can see it. There, now I can see. Just turn around, make sure it's all getting cooked. The vegetables are getting a little bit softer and getting all happy. Check it's been about two minutes here. Let's check out this middle-sized one. Ooh, middle-sized potatoes done, big one. A little bit longer, flipped it over, added another minute to it, so that should be set for that large one at that point. So you can see it's cooking over there. It's cooking faster, faster, faster. I don't know if it's working or not, but we'll go with it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I have a bowl, just a big bowl here, and I'm chopping, I'm cutting the red potatoes. I'm quartering them and just kind of slicing them, trying not to burn myself. Don't burn yourself, folks. That would be very sad. And then sue me. Please don't sue me. I don't have anything to be worth suing for, so don't even try. But, you know, don't burn yourself. There's your fair warning. All right. So I just basically cut that up, and then we're going to um, mix it, right? You could use, like, potato masher if you want. Like this. That's a potato masher. Or, or you could use a fancy, dancy thing like this. Also known as... A fork. Those are all fun options. All open to you, ladies and gents, what you'd like to use. Oh my gosh, this is so much close to being done. What, we've been on air for, what, 15 minutes? This is almost done. I'm still waiting for you to drop your comments on what your favorite family fall thing to do is. Waiting for some awesome people. I appreciate all of you tuning in. So thank you, first of all. That's awesome. Here we go. This looks like it's about done. I'm going to shut it off. If I was a prepped ahead of time with potatoes, we would have been good. But you know what? This is life. This is what happens. It's all good. We're almost there, folks, anyway. Katie, 
My wife, well, she loves watching scary movies. Who doesn't like watching scary movies? There's some people. I don't understand you, but it's okay. We love you anyway. Um, but watching scary movies is one of our favorite th things to do in fall, especially when it reaches October. Like tonight, after this, as we're eating shepherd's pie, we're watching a scary movie. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, our big potato, whoo, hot, hot potato, hot potato, is done. So now we're gonna cut it, core it. Here we go. Turn over. See how quick that was. Whoo, whoo, hot, hot, hot. Pardon, pardon yourself. Okay, so you can season this with a little salt pepper if you like. You could add in a little um, milk if that's something you like, or a little yogurt. Greek yogurt is a great addition to this as well. All options. But now I'm adding in about our quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm mashing it. Now I'm just mashing it into like, essentially trying to make lumpy um, mashed potatoes. And it will, you know, you can blend it or um, stick it in like a food processor or something like that if that's something you like if you like it um little um not chunky right little smoother texture more mashed potatoes-esque but we're going for full-on mash here with legit hand mashing of the potatoes mixing it up a little bit so i can mash more oh yeah this is the good stuff right here i saw comments thank you for comments people i appreciate all of you i'll be over there to read them in just a second just give me this little time here and finish and mash and try not to burn myself. Because that'd be sad. But it'd make a fun show, wouldn't it? Say, like, Spencer, you'd be crazy. Spencer, you have a question. I have a question, too. Pamela Harrington Carver would like to know how long you microwave the potatoes for. That's awesome. See, my, Kate, my, my Katie, my wife. Oh, my gosh. I need coffee. Give me coffee. It's over there. I just need a cup. Just give me a cup. Okay, anyway. Katie, my wife, you probably heard in the background. Well, let's see. Um, before they love hanging out by the fire, Pamela Barnhill, awesome. That is so much fun to hang out by the fire. That's such a great thing to do in fall, winter time, spring, summertime outside. It's great. Love it. Angie, camping. Winter camp. Fall, fall camping's awesome. Yeah, it's stuck in winter. Fall camping would be great. Temperature's awesome. Pamela Carver, thank you so much for commenting and asking the questions. How long do I microwave the potatoes? Well, I, sta I washed them, I stabbed them, and I put them in the microwave. I stabbed them gently, of course. Ah! And I put them in the microwave for three minutes on one side, then I flipped them over and put them for three minutes on the other side. That small red potato, about yay size, right? So you kind of proportion it to my body, um, is, uh, was done after that. Um, then I flipped the other ones over, put it for another three minutes. You squeeze the potato, and when it, when it starts getting squishy and you can feel the inside of the potato start breaking apart, you know it's done and set to rock and roll. That's how you can tell. So, thank you for asking the question. I really appreciate it, Pamela. And yet, anyone else has a question, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Love to answer. All right, we mashed up our potatoes. Now we have, now depending on how much you made, you might need a bigger pan. We're using this bread pan. Um, just because it seems to be a decent size for this. Might be a little small for how much veggies and um, taste this anyway, but that's okay. We like this stuff. Um, depending on skin size, maybe you want like a 9x9 nine nine pan or dish or individual dishes if you're all fancy. I don't have any of those like deep individual dishes, others I'd probably be using one. That's all right. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it here. Even though I didn't add broth or anything to it, I don't know if you can see it, there's still like a little bit of liquid inside, which is awesome. It's still gonna be super juicy. It's not gonna be dry and freaking delicious. So, uh, and then we get the juice all inside, perfect. Okay, so now I made a little much, right? But that's all right. Look at it, to fill up the whole thing. You can leave it there, you can mash it down a little bit. We're just gonna mash mine down just a little bit, only so we can fit the mashed potatoes on top nicely, right? But you don't have to, right? You can leave it airier and you know, not stay Oh my gosh. Stay. Okay, we're good. All right, so now I'm going to put the mashed potatoes that we made, hand mashed potatoes, on top. I'm just kind of spooning them on with all, kind of with a fork, but it works. Just kind of getting them up onto our vegetables, and then I'm going to spread them around a little bit, as you see. Get them up on. There we are. Whoop! And then we'll spread them around. 
to coat roughly evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And I love leaving the skin on the potatoes because that's where so much of the nutrients and health parts of it are, right? The vitamins, the, the minerals are all in that skin. So you don't have to, you can skin them if you like, but I, I don't like to leave them on. Just me, look at that. Healthy, look at all healthy stuff jam packed. You got some sweet juice in the bottom, keep it all juicy. And there's your top, right? Top of the red potatoes. All this is cooked, all this is set to go. Now, we're gonna pop this in the oven. And remember, we had the oven preset, right? We started heating up already with the broiler on high. So the goal of this is we put it in near the top, it's about middle of the rack. Now I could have bumped it up a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, we are going to watch these potatoes pretty closely here. So check it every minute, two minutes. Um, minute and then two minutes and probably every 30 seconds because once the broiler gets going it goes fast and you want the potatoes just to start turning brown on top once they just start turning brown boom take it out slice it up serve it to your family and enjoy a quick easy and healthy shepherd's pie how easy is that like seriously folks it's been what 22 minutes 21 minutes and we just made a shepherd's pie from scratch even if you included prepping and the time for this to finish, it took you 30 minutes to make this freaking delicious, healthy shepherd's pie for yourself, for your family, that you can customize and make the way you want. This is what I'm about, right? This is what the Jones and Four cooking show is about, to help you be healthy, to be fit, to go after your goals, chase your passions to the max, and you can only do that if you're living a healthy life. So that means being fit right? By working out, taking care of your body, and by eating well, fueling yourself with proper food like this. I'm tight on time. I'm busy like so many of you are, right? And I want to make sure that you know that you can eat healthy. You can do this with fast, quick meals like this that aren't boring. So give yourself, uh, let me check it first here. Uh, we got a little bit, start, whoop. Just starting to get brown on top. It's going to be ready. Should we wait? Should we do it? Should, oh, I'll wait. We'll waste some time, we'll chat a little bit. So, what do you like to do in fall? We got scary movies, we got campfires, camping. I should say hanging out by a fire and then camping. You probably have campfires as well when you go camping. It's kind of fun and all that stuff. And look, you make this, there's barely any mess there. Even I forgot the potatoes and it still works out. Enjoy this. I would love to hear from you and see what you like about this show. Do you like the live cooking show? Uh, do you like this format of going live? Yes, it's their longer videos, but I kind of walk you through how to do it. Like beginning to end, you see me and I make stupid mistakes and whatever. Do you like this um, format or do you like those like faster videos where it's like 60 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever of them, like the overhead video of them making it quick so that you get all the information you need, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and you're good to go, right? Like, what do you prefer? Let me know, drop in the comments. I'd love to find out. If you made it through this long video already, you know, you probably like watching a long videos. So thank you, I appreciate that. But let me know. Oh, we're working on it. Takes a little bit of time. Um, Pam, watching football. Yeah, it was a fun day for football, at least for us, at least. Packer fans, go Pack Go. Uh, sorry, Pamela. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not a Packer fan. I think they're Patriots, is that right? I think I remember seeing that, but um, yeah, sorry. I don't know how they did yesterday. I know the Packers did well. So go Pack! Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about this format and all that. Um, we're looking at mixing up. We've been doing these live cooking shows now. I've been doing live cooking shows for over two years, right? I think we're almost going on our third year of doing these live cooking shows. So um, yeah, we're looking at seeing, do you like this? Do we, should we mix it up, try something different? We have so many recipes. We have over, I kid you not, over 100 <coughs> recipes on Jones and uh, for, sorry, I can't talk today. Woo! We have over 100 recipes on spencermjones.com. That's where Jones and Four is, um, but you can't go to jonesandfour.com because, yeah, we don't own that one, whatever. But you just gotta go to spencermjones.com um, to check out our recipes. We have so much awesome videos and healthy recipes there. We have our mini series, our kayak fishing mini series, and adventure series, and all that. We got my book out there, the next book that's coming out in November. So many crazy things. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, yeah, yes, Pats, your show's great. Thank you very much, Pamela. I appreciate the comment. I appreciate you tuning in and everyone else tuning in. Thank you very much. Y'all rock. Okay, we're starting to brown. 
I'm going to just take it out and show you real quick, and then I'm going to let it brown up just a little bit more because I want mine nice and dark, but I don't want to waste all of your precious time. So I'll show you here. It's just starting to brown. I don't know if you can see it there. Boom! Check that out. So you can see it's just starting to brown. That's perfect for me. And it's been 25 minutes, 26 minutes. Boom. That's how you do it, folks. I appreciate you tuning in. If you like this video, let me know. Drop a comment and like it. Share it out with your friends, your family, and anyone you think might be interested in this quick, healthy, easy thing. And if you try to make it, I want you to make it. I want you to go for it. Make this. Take a picture and uh, tag me in it on Facebook, right? Tag Jones and Four on Facebook or Instagram and let me know how you liked it. If you liked it, if it was easy, share it out. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate all of you. Have a great week. Stay healthy, stay fit, and go after your goals. We will catch you all next time.